Hey guys, it's Sanelius, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron number four here with Sanelius, of course, playing here as Estonia. Let's carry on where we left off and see where we get to. Now, one of the things I didn't necessarily do at the end of the last episode was actually look at what actually happened here to our naval production. Uh, yes, of course, we inherited this bit of the fleet here from the... What was it? Which, which faction did we basically take this from? I don't even remember. Was this the UK? Ah, uh, no, it was the Spanish. It was the Spanish that we basically inherited that from. <clears throat> but as you can see, we basically are currently repairing that. These guys are docked here, as you can see at the moment. In... Uh, where are they docked at the moment? Southwest England. Um... The docks over here are relatively low level. I'm probably going to set these guys here to do a patrol of a different region. <clears throat> As you can see, I'm basically going to set them in the Irish Sea here. And of course, it's called the Western Approaches here, but it's the Irish Sea. I want to basically fully isolate here both Ireland as well as Britain or at least the remains of Britain here, that's Northern Ireland here, of course, uh, to be properly really isolated into nothingness, so to speak. Um, here we got a substantial fleet of submarines that's become available in the meantime. Again, I'm going to allocate it to there. I'm just going to see what I can do in terms of consolidating some of these here. As you can see, I'm bringing it back to 10, that's 16, that's 11... I'm going to consolidate this 13 and that 13 into one. Perfect. And this one's, of course, set to be in Leningrad. Let's start them to do convoy rating as well. Otherwise, they're going to stay docked indefinitely. Okay, so what are our current options here? We got more than enough points to do something interesting there. Um, I can, of course, boost my war support. That would be quite useful, I think. As you can see, i got my war bonds already active. Uh, what's this going to do? Gain base war oh, I'm going to lose war support. That's not going to help, is it? So, as you can see, we still got some engagements over here. At least that's what it says. Is that an actual engagement? Well, as you can see, there's, there's a substantial number of uh, units operating in that region. And there's also a substantial number of enemy ships there. Look at this. It's the Australians were taken out now, or at least their convoys were taken out. And I guess they're sending convoys over to, to Britain. These should be bigger convoys. At least that seems to be the indication here. Oh, okay, maybe not. Anyways, if we basically currently look at where we basically still got enemies active. Um, let's see, that's of course not on this map. As you can see, German Reich is there. Portugal, Italy, German Reich here. Estonia or Baltic Unitary State, as you can see at the moment. Which of course includes the majority of, your, of uh, Great Britain as such. Um, I'm going to get the clock running. If I click and look at my research... I've got various different bits going on at the moment. Excavation, one of those. Um, one of the things actually you will see here, I'm actually working quite nicely on some additional bits and bobs. Um, one of the things I can actually do, I can actually boost the infrastructure here. And what that should do for me, it should actually give me additional land here to work with. So at least I can build more things over there as well. Now let's first, of course, repair whatever is being damaged here. And let's, of course, bring those back to the top. And then, of course, I've got this one almost finished. So that's nice to see as well. There we go. That, that should be a good mix of how that is evolving. Um, nothing interesting there at the moment. Of course, if I look in here, we're currently working on producing various different items. 
including a substantial number of Panzer II Cs. Now, is Panzer II C the best one we got at the moment? Let's have a quick look. Um, production licenses. If I look in here, don't show the active ones. What have they got in terms of actual designs? As you can see, they got the amphibious tanks here. Um, they got the Leopard Advanced Light Tank. That's interesting. So if I compare that to the current one, do, 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 I think the Leopard might be interesting. Source used per factory. Whoa! So currently they're basically getting six, and this would be a substantial increase in additional factories I have to basically share with them to do that. Is that worthwhile though? It might be. What's this new American operative was captured? Lovely. Um, so that's the Panzer II C. Change production equipment, you will retain some of the efficiency if you switch to a newer version of the same equipment. Okay, so it might still be interesting to actually do that. So if I basically here start managing the production license, is that just a chassis? It just seems to be the chassis, doesn't it? No, it, um... it says it's outdated. Don't show the active ones. Is there a way of saying she show me what's actually the latest design? That's the Panther. That's the medium tank, heavy tank. It says it's outdated. Why is it saying it's outdated? I'm not sure. Okay, so it says it can be produced here. Perfect. So what can we do here? Can I now switch this over to the new one, the Leopard? Without a penalty? Yeah, well, there is, of course, a penalty. But it's not that heavy a penalty. So what I should now be able to do, I've got to for a second I'm basically speak to them again, uh, the Germans, and then, of course, manage production licenses. Show the active ones. I no longer need this one here. No, it reduces by one. Well, okay, fine, whatever. It's not a really massive amount, but uh, of course every little bit helps. Okay, so Romania has got a part of Africa there. Anything where we pay are currently, of course, active. Of course, let's double check. We got fleet units operating here. They're basically moving towards there. Now, one of the things I should really do is I should, of course, upgrade these ports. Let's just see. Uh, hold on, Greenland. Where are you? Why am I doing this? Well. In reality, of course, if we're basically going to get more armies in there, I need to basically have more supplies at my disposal, which of course also means I need to probably have more over here. But that can, of course, be second tier, so to speak. Ooh, Iberian coast. Hmm, interesting. American submarines were operating there. Interesting. Okay, still got units moving towards the corresponding locations, including this one. These are basically my offensive units, so to speak. As you can see, my marines are moving here as well. This unit here is purely set up as defensive. It's basically defending the, uh, the conquered territories here. This one's basically working on also defending the territories we got over here. This one's purely defending Iceland. This one should be defending Greenland. And this one is suppressing the bits and pieces that we basically are working on here. 
So how are we working on that? How are we doing with that? So this stands now at 43, 45, 51. As you can see, this stands nicely at 62 already in terms of compliance. And the higher the compliance, the lesser the, the actual compliance growth will be. Um, there's a bit of Great Britain here that we're basically looking to invade. And there's a bit of the United States over here that we're looking to deal with. So we're going to see what we can do around each of those different elements as such. So as you can see, we got a shortage here of steel. Steel, it seems to say. Is that resolved? It no, we need more. One more to go, and then we should be good. And now it says we are at zero. Perfect. Am I importing anything that I don't need to import? Well, as you can see, I'm actually fill, filling up my fuel reserves once again. If I look closely in here, I will actually see I got some slots that I can actually start filling up again. Oops, that was really this one I was looking for. Yeah, I can of course work in Greenland here as well, that's fine. That nuclear reactor will take some time to complete. As you can see, we basically got this fleet that's being repaired here. And all these bits, they're taking some time, but that's basically the Spanish fleet that we took over. Fuel is a bit of an issue for them. Wow, it's interesting to see what the maximum consumption is, but they're, they're consuming fuel, even though they're import at the moment. Okay, so they basically can supply us with additional tanks. So as you can see, we've got all of these bits and pieces here that we basically are able to deploy. That should be added to the suppression fleet here, or army, however you want to call it. They'll start doing their job shortly. Interesting. Okay, these are older battle plans that we had. And as you can see, we basically got some armies surrounding some of these territories that I actually liberated previously here. So, what do we got here? Can I set these to actually come into effect? No, we basically need more preparation days. That's fine. I need preparation days there. Okay, perfect. That's fine. Ooh, look at that. Britain lost some of their, their light cruisers, as well as destroyers, as well as, of course, some other units. And then here, there is one that we... It says we lost. Okay, this is still a victory. Okay. These are all victories, so perfect. Why are the destroyers operating by themselves? I thought it would be an entire fleet operating here, but... Okay, let's just double check what's going on here for just a second. So this one, okay, so this one needs to be repaired apparently. It says some of them need to be upgraded, that's okay. Split off is enabled, okay, that's fine. And again, as you will see here, 
We can of course add additional locations to the areas we're actually working on here. So is that the Italians? Sorry, is that a bicycle unit? It looks like. Interesting. Gavinana. Hmm. Interesting. So they're basically going to use their own transports. Ah, they've laid mines here. So there's mines in that region here. So can I actually work on basically building a destroyer that will clean up mines? Have I got any mine sweepers at all? So I should be able to, of course, work on a destroyer design that can do that. But I don't seem to have any actual options. Okay, so there's lots of outdated equipment, as you can see. This is my minesweeper. Still costs quite a lot to actually produce, doesn't it? But look at the actual amount of... Uh, Submarines I'm producing here, it's just whoosh, whoosh, whoosh. They're just being rolled out in, in no time whatsoever. Now, one thing we do need to have a look at, of course, is also our stockpiles. I do believe we got a stockpile of fighters, as you can see. Yes, there the fighters are waiting for us. We can, of course, add another stockpile of fighters here. just wait for them to actually become available because yes they're being deployed currently okay so we got the cipher there well, whose other ciphers do we need to basically decode of course we need to go for Australia here and New Zealand let's for now just start off with the first one a Canadian has lost a convoy perfect what's happening over here That looks to be the Australian Admiral, but they actually got British ships here. But it's the Australian Admiral because, 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 okay, so it's our Admiral here, then there's destroyers, German destroyers. It says we're low on manpower. Are we losing manpower at the moment? Are we losing a lot of manpower? Uh, occupied territories. Let's look at the equipment, equipment details. Okay, so we're using 126,000 there. Yeah, we did have some loss of manpower over the last 12 months. Where are we losing most of our manpower though? Ooh, yes, here. <laughs> Okay, let's have a quick look. What can we do here? Infrastructure is as is at the moment. <laughs> They're working quite strongly there. Oh, hold on, hold on. Look at this. Why are we losing stuff here? Because they're out of supplies, that's why. 
So I need to really build a supply depot or something like that over here to prevent that from going any further. And unfortunately, supply depots, they cost quite a lot of, a lot to build. 20,000, whoa. Okay, so if I basically prevent this from being worked on at the moment, so that's the, not that one, that one. So if I remove from there temporarily that sector, that should of course prevent us from having too much in terms of losses there. Okay, more convoys being destroyed. As you can see, we basically got a couple of nuclear bombs here ready. And it says we're doing 1% per day. Okay, so we got four bombs now. It takes up roughly 90 days to complete a bomb. These guys are not losing anything. These guys, can I kick them? Off? No. We've got a very limited supremacy here, only 41. Why? Okay, so there are enemy planes operating here as well. And not as many as you might expect. It says there's only four. Why am I still operating here in the channel? I'm not sure. Again, I'm still operating here over northern Spain. Again, not necessary. planes operating here. Again, not necessary to have them operating there. I got tons of planes still operating here it looks like. Iberia here. Let's put these guys over here. Well, let's actually move them over there. Let's have them operating in that particular region as such. Now this one here, it doesn't make sense for me to keep on throwing them that way. Let's push them this way. I can of course fire here on New England as well. Double checking that the other one that we just picked up here, yes, it already had orders of similar nature. Kaz units. Now, I'm pretty sure I do also have tactical bombers here, there, or strategic bombers, I should have said. I should really position them there. Interesting to see that they always say, well, look at that. That's our big fleet that's operating there. We need more aluminum. Yes. I'm sure Hungary will be able to supply us with that. All right. Any more of these sites that we basically haven't used yet? Where is this New England? Ah, it's already aimed there, perfect.
let's make sure though that we include this region here and that one. So I've removed the Atlantic, or sorry, the Mediterranean from there, which I really don't need to patrol anymore because of course we control all the land around there anyways. And that was more like a stopgap until we could alleviate the other bits. I had rather hoped that basically getting this all sorted here would have done a different job. So this task force, let's move them away from doing convoy rating to actually doing strike force or patrol. All right, so they're finally engaging the enemy here, which is perfect. We're doing an invasion here, and as you can see, because they're low in supplies, it's going quite well as well. Going quite well as well. Is that a bit double up? Probably. But what you should see now is you should see that we're basically getting into a better position here. As you can see, we got a pretty strong force here now. And I do suspect we're hitting them quite strongly here now, which is good. As you can see, three destroyers were already yeah, blown up. It should, of course, progress nicely. That was one cruiser. Four destroyers. Okay, we lost one destroyer as well. HMS Manchester. <laughs> oh, that was the one that was sunk then. Oh, look at that. So what we got here, this one here, we can actually basically say do the strike force on here as well. Yes. Still in a superior position, as you can see. The Brit oh, the English Channel is now interestingly uh, no longer fully in our control. Hmm. Okay. Ooh, we need more steel again. This is not really beneficial anymore. This. Again, not really that beneficial to us either. So I'm just going to let that be, let that rest. Um, we can add an extra building slot to memo. I think I'm okay for now. Let's have a quick look here again. Pretty sure we did build a, a site here. What do you mean? Ah, air wings don't have coverage. What do you mean it doesn't have coverage? I'm pretty sure the range is pretty, pretty big for what you got. Oh, is that the range? That's that's the radar's range. As is. Mm -hmm. 
All right, perfect. Almost got it. Okay, let's take this entire section. Yep. Okay, so what we can do... At least 75% air push superiority, at least... Ah, one strategic bomber in range, okay. Which I don't have at the moment. I just need to move it back here. So what I want to just do here, I just want to basically blow them up. Let's have a look at what we can do in terms of research. All of that's been done. I can basically take Mechanized to the next level. Yeah, why not? Okay, let's do that. Are we at war with Ireland or not? Oh, ah, no. Hold on. Look at that. That was... Was that the first nuclear bomb that we've ever dropped? I think so. Okay. Okay. In fact, support this engagement here. can do is we can actually say let's go from here to there why does it say no divisions is assigned there we go That should make it a bit easier. Ten days or so it will take. Douglas landing operation. Oh, 
Why have I got such low superiority here in, in, the, in, the, in the channel here? Whoa, did I just blow up my entire fleet? That that's, looks like fun. is the issue again. There's always an issue with something that or another that spacey doesn't get the supplies it needs, but okay. Right, what's happening in terms of our compliance here? This one's nicely along the way. If I look again at that production here, now look at basically what we could potentially do with regards to this. Okay, there's a bit of railroad we can build here. Greater London area, okay. Okay. There we go, sixty six per cent. Now that's what we're talking about. Recon higher level, perfect. One thing we haven't actually done much with here, as you can see, is torpedo upgrades. But that is for on the ships. This is for on the submarines. Mine warfare, naval damage is boosted. This could be interesting. Okay, 73. As you can see, the British are losing here. Even though they're fighting against the uh, level 5 general, with our level 4 general, it seems to be going quite nicely. Okay. Come on, Belfast. Drop, drop, drop. The Netherlands still exists, it says. Really? Where does the Netherlands still exist? Oh, is, is that what the, you call the Netherlands? Maybe? Then it would be the same for Belgium, wouldn't it? Look at that, Romanian units in Australia, interesting. Northern Territories Offensive War. Oh, wow. Oh, the Portuguese territory where they're basically land launching their invasion from. Interesting. And then Americans are fighting over here. Ah, that's where the Netherlands exists. Lesser Sunda Islands. Okay. The owner's Dutch East Indies. Interesting. But the Dutch East Indies had surrendered. So... Okay. 
United States contributed 18%, the United Kingdom 46%. Overall losses is 14 point. Wow. Okay. So let's have a good look here again. These guys, I can basically push them back here. You can see they got a substantial range. It's really my hope to yeah just finally take Belfast here. There we go. There we go. Belfast is ours. So this army here, which is this one, Alclaw also includes Northern Ireland. Which now means that this army here can be moved to elsewhere. Where do we want to move them to? Well, firstly, I want to basically probably move them to here, Sumatra. I can give that general a booster. He works with infantry, so it makes sense to make him an infantry expert. This guy here, that's really our own manpower that we're working with here. If we got other territory here that we can work from, are we aligned enough with the Japanese to do anything there? I think so. Um. Okay, we're asking for military access, that's fine. That means we can move troops within their territory, perfect. So if we look at the other parties here, gives us a lot more wiggling room in terms of being able to move our units and so forth around. I thought Ireland was at war with one of our enemies, but maybe not so, no longer the case. Right, we took out one of their submarines, that's fine. Again, we're short of aluminum. Is that because we started to produce more? Possibly. Growth rate is so minimal now, as you can see. As you can see, we need about 1,400. Extra, wow. All right, let's look at our compliance once again. 52, and that is still at a low percentage, isn't it? So that's because, of course, we basically told these guys, steer clear of that area. I think I'm actually gonna say, well, go back into that area because in reality, we do need to basically work on that area as well. It is a bit of a backwater over here, isn't it? Okay. We're trying to basically eliminate any of those, those areas where there's just Hardly any support of any sort there. In about a month's time, that depot will be completed. Nice.
our doctrine is finished pretty much. This one is finished pretty much. So there's, there's not much we can do with the experience there. Okay, we need more of this lovely, lovely stuff. Also known as steel. Okay, is there anything we can do here to potentially create additional bits? Look at this. There's lots of production capability that we could potentially put there. We didn't have any, anything in there yet. Why is this so bare? number five we improved that next bit of uh, rubber processing or uh, no oil processing sorry my bad okay we're moving this through here at the moment as you can see these guys as well these guys are still based here and ready to basically launch their invasion once we've got enough naval supremacy there. Which we didn't have as of yet. Look at this though. Look at all of this. There's lots of bits that need to be repaired and probably because we docked that nuclear bomb there that it needs a little bit of a help. Faroe Islands, where's that? Oh yeah, that's up here. Okay. Yeah, look at all this. This is just stuff that's damaged. Nuclear bombs do not necessarily uh, give us lots of fun stuff here, does it? Let's have a look here again. Why can we not drop a nuclear bomb here? Uh, we need air superiority there. Okay. But I was told I couldn't do that from here. And I'm still not entirely sure why that is the case. Another one that we can basically send over. We're gonna do convoy rating, okay. But this one should really move back to there. We should really consolidate all of this into one. rubber processing we're pretty much at the end of all the technology that we can potentially create here this doesn't really do much other than basically just give us extra tech that we don't really need at the moment we got all of that researched already here of course we can go for improvements to those guns which is fine the Labrador Sea is something that we need to just work on As you can see, we basically worked on, of course, upgrading these bits already. 
Hold on, let's have a look here again. Okay, so what have we got in terms of radars? Greenland. Let's move that to the top, see what we can actually get with that in terms of intel. Look at this, insufficient intel at the moment, that's fine. Okay, one of the German ones was lost. Have we got any of our own here? No. Okay. So if we look back at our Navy, this one here, where do we no longer need to operate? It's fine over here. The English Channel is fine for now as well. I'm really going to focus on those other areas. Operating in their assigned areas. This is moving to the assigned area. Perfect. Let's consolidate these two into one. Okay. That's a small bit only. You see this C here, we don't really have that much in there as of yet. So it takes about a month or so, slightly over a month to produce one of these, whereas these are produced a lot quicker. Where are these units now? Still there, perfect. As you can see, the way she's moving over land at the moment, as you can see, the organization is relatively low because, of course, they're on the train. Hold on, why? So if we've been assigned to work on this region here, why have we still got some of them here? As in dug in, that doesn't make any sense. Of course, if I set this to be part of it as well, it doesn't help. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. Half being in the wrong area is of no use whatsoever. All right, this is down to only a mere 1050, which is good. I increase this. Yeah, I can put up to 73, which is fine. We lost two, okay. The rest is all victories. Look at this. There's more destroyers here operating. And look at the number of submarines we got operating here.
purely submarines. This is not correct though. This one should not have any destroyers in there. It says there's zero out of zero. Well, I'm not sure how that works, but okay. This one should be added to there. Hold on. There should have just been a merge button that I could have used, and there was indeed, but I didn't use it. to repair, yes there are. Okay. Anything else we could do? Institute press censorship. Well, there's only one party operating at the moment anyway, so we don't really need that. Can we get our units over here already? They're still on route. So this one's on route, as you can see. This one's also on route. We're really leveraging, of course, our allies or our friends here. Minus 50 to the army experience. Oh, it's not minus, it's, it's, a, it's a dash. 50% of the army experience gain. You got war support plus 10%. Oh, okay. So why are we still only at 95% here? So we're at war, which drops that. Political power gain, consumer good factories. Base is 70, then we got plus 30. We need 100, so we're near yeah, 95 makes sense, but it would be great if we can basically get it even higher. Uh, non core manpower, this one. There's not much, not much we can do here in reality. Ooh. Communist China. Huh. Are we at war with them? No, we're not. Huh. Oh, well, okay. So what do we need? Well, now we got tons of surplus here, it looks like. Why is that? Did our production change a lot all of a sudden? I'm not sure. Okay, so we need more there and we are actually using a lot of stuff here already. trains I need more trains I would say because we're losing some trains here it looks like 
we're stockpiling a ton of these. We're stockpiling a lot of trucks, it looks like, as well. Let's improve that number here substantially. And then we're going to actually expand the number of units we're producing here. Okay, so what's happening here? The supply situation should have been resolved here because oh, that's still not built, is it? Thought it would have been built by now. We're still a few days away from that. 97%, 98%, 99%, 100%. Perfect. Stop wiggling around. Why? Right, compliance. 53%, 53%. We're getting closer to being able to go for that one. We're still not exactly there, are we? No, we still need that in those four territories. Okay, let's work on our improved shells here. It's a really, really quick one. 23 days, as you can see. Again, rubber we need to improve. Right, so we got launch sites. I don't need to keep those here in reality. go and support the other units of marines i didn't think i actually had any more marines that were basically ready to come but of course the fact that i actually made units available helped with that okay perfect so that's almost finished this will actually help me with that wouldn't it Yeah, my factory output will drop, but that actually gets me the additional stability. That should get me the extra stability I'm actually looking for to get me really to 100%. Can I launch additional fleets here of aircraft? Potentially. Superiority here. Why does that count it from the center of Greenland as opposed to the location of the airbase? 
Jeez, this has got a, a larger range now. There, I got a smaller one. Okay, more mechanized became available, and of course we can go for the top tier of mechanized now. We could, of course, switch our production here from trucks over to mechanized. Is that a comparable conversion? Probably not. Uh, it's not that bad, actually. Okay, as you can see, we're producing here another one of those launch sites. Sussex, okay, a bit more of the funky stuff. So, have we got a fighter wing here that doesn't do anything? Is that it? No. got all of these already deployed as such okay okay exhort heroism that's fine if I look at what's going on here in Australia what's going on there that looks like they're being pushed back Perfect. So, I would love to push into there. So have we got supply issues? Slightly. Still we've got issues here in terms of uh, our positioning of the land. So, what are we going to do? We got a substantial fleet here, which I'm going to reposition to here to Greenland, as you can see. lost a couple of submarines that's okay nothing major yes we're working on mechanized stuff here but I don't have a template as of yet that's fine edit if I daisy duplicate this but then I say that this should be mechanized instead. What else should this have? A hospital. This should also have. Armored recon, I would say. Engineering, support artillery, motorized 
first artillery. Okay, so that's a substantial design, I think. Okay, so we got a army group here. I've got lots of gear here, as you can see already. I'm going to try to convert this unit here into our new... Um, I said motorized. Let's turn that into mechanized unit as such. Okay. Hmm? Hold on, why can I not just take these? I say fine, whatever. I'll just ship you over there. Of course, I got an airbase here, but I got, got hardly any planes here. So why don't I take a plane from here, this one for example, and, and substantially moved to this base here. Could I attack them from there? I guess I could. actually getting that unit there now I should do hold on let's keep an eye on this here for just a second this one can actually also move there oh, I cannot put them there unfortunately <laughs> yes we got air superiority thank you very much Okay, so we got more stuff there. In terms of that, we're good. Let's upgrade our artillery even further. So again, we completed everything in here by now. Anything in here that we want to work with? Not really. Anything in here? Maybe not. I could 
Uh, this actually makes different cannons available for the tanks, but I don't work with the tanks as such. So let's go back to the navy here and actually look at what we can do. So as you can see, I can go for my advanced snorkel, which I should have done ages ago, probably. Okay. Let's keep this fight going here. We're about getting close to the time for us to call it a day, so we're gonna basically call it a day shortly. Oh, we're making it Portuguese again, huh? Cool. Yeah, we're low on supplies as well. But we should be able to retreat to the Japanese territory if we wanted to. This one's standing by, it says. Okay. Back even further here. Hmm. Almost there. That's fine. Such. Let's push through there. If we can cut off that retreating section there, that would be amazing. somewhere here the only other port we got here is that one here in Queensland and that's basically our next goal so to speak I need to get more supplies into here we lost one submarine really is that noteworthy maybe maybe not All right, guys, I said we're going to call it a day. And that's exactly what we're going to do. So currently, we still are not exactly where we want to be here. We're getting closer, but uh, as you can see, yeah, compliance is a thing we are working on. Yeah, resistance quite strong here, as you can see in the United Kingdom. 
or the former United Kingdom. It's now our territory here. There's resistance in other places here as well, but uh, yeah, it is quite low over here. There is some. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, we'll see you, of course, in the next one. In the meantime, take care. Bye-bye.